Hello everyone! I was lucky enough to catch an advanced screening of Ghostbusters, directed by Paul Feig and starring Kristen Wiig, Melissa McCarthy, Kate McKinnon, and Leslie Jones. In New York City, some weaselly douchebag has figured out a way to bring ghosts into our world and has been unleashing them on New York in an effort to bring about the apocalypse. And three scientists and one street-smart subway attendant must work together to stop him. And of course, hilarity ensues. This turned out to be so much better than I expected. So much better. I actually like this one. I don't think it's perfect. No movie is, really. It has a few issues here and there. I don't think it's as good as the original Ghostbusters. Uh, I would put it more on par with Ghostbusters 2, which, in my opinion, is a bit unfairly maligned. I think that movie is better than most people give it credit for. Most of the comedy works quite well. There are a few minor bits and pieces here and there that don't quite land, but nothing major. And I was a bit surprised to see that some of the jokes in the trailers were not in the theatrical cut of the movie which is probably for the best. The cast was outstanding across the board, including Leslie Jones, who I was a bit worried about after seeing the trailer, but she is so much better than the trailer led me to believe. She's actually a really good character. She's every bit as smart as the other ladies, it's just her knowledge is in a different field. They're the scientists, and she's the walking encyclopedia of New York City. You point to any building in New York City, she can tell you who built it, who the original owner was, can probably tell you how many bricks are in the damn thing. The four heroines all work very well together, but I would say Kate McKinnon was my favorite of the bunch. She is just so delightfully nutty. It's one of those characters that reminds you genius and insanity often go hand in hand. And I'm willing to bet a good chunk of what she did in this movie was improvised, because some of it is just so off the wall... There is no way any of it could have been written down. Unless Paul Feig has been doing a lot of cocaine recently. And I never imagined I would see the day when Chris Hemsworth would be playing a buffoon. And yet he does it surprisingly well here. I just, I'm really starting to wonder if there's anything he cannot do. He has really become one of my favorite actors. Neil Casey plays the villain of the movie, the aforementioned Weasley douchebag. A character he handles quite well. Basically, he's a guy who thinks he wasn't given a fair shake in life and has decided to just bring it all down. Everyone dies. And of course, we have plenty of gratuitous cameos from the original cast of Ghostbusters and also a certain musician. And I will say no more about him. They even found a way to give Harold Ramis a quick nod. I won't say what exactly it was, but you'll know it when you see it. It was a nice touch. Going into the movie, I thought it would be a little weird seeing the cast of the original Ghostbusters in a new Ghostbusters movie not playing their original characters, but honestly, I wasn't bothered by it at all. It worked very well, especially Bill Murray's character. He is so good in this. The movie shot very well overall. The special effects look pretty good, or at least I thought they did. I know there are some people out there who don't like the way the ghosts look in this movie, think they look a bit too cartoonish. I personally wasn't bothered by it, but I get it. It's, it's not going to be everyone's cup of tea. Your mileage may vary. The editing in this movie is one aspect that I think most people will agree could have used a bit of fine-tuning. There are a few cuts in this movie that are a bit rough. I honestly get the feeling that the studio ordered them to cut out a sizable chunk of the running time at great expense and at the last minute, and this is what we ended up with. Feig did say in an interview that there will be an extended cut of the movie, and I'm actually interested to see that to see if they can smooth out the editing a bit. While this movie works pretty well overall, there is one scene that I'm a little bit torn on. Towards the end, when the weaselly douchebag unleashes hell upon New York City, there is this huge action sequence between the Ghostbusters and his army of ghosts. And on the one hand, it is done very well. It's pretty fucking badass, honestly. But on the other hand, it doesn't really fit the established tone of the movie up to that point. It almost feels like I was watching something out of a completely different movie. It's not bad, it's just feels off. And maybe it's just me. Maybe most people will end up liking it. I don't know, but I thought it was a little weird. Overall... I'm just glad this movie didn't suck. I really am. I was hoping that this would turn out better than what the trailers led me to believe, and it was. I really enjoyed this one, and I think you should see it. 
My big takeaway from this is I really need to just learn to trust Paul Feig because I've seen trailers for his movies before that did not work for me at all, but then I actually see the movie and it turns out okay. Spy. The trailer for Spy did nothing for me. Spy was great. One of these days I am going to learn to accept that he knows what he's doing. Oh, and this movie does have a post credit scene, so that there's actually stuff going on throughout the credits, really, so do not leave until the credits are over. And if you're worried that this movie is somehow going to ruin the originals, guess what? They're still here. They're fine. I checked the discs. They still play just fine. They haven't been magically wiped or anything. The movies are not gone. They have not been ruined. They're still the same. They're fine. It's okay. Relax. And that about wraps it up for Ghostbusters 2016. Till next time, take care.